Hello and welcome to our lesson for today. We continue with our lessons on constructions and for today we will be taking a look at the BEC 2009 question on construction. Let's get started. The first step is to draw a straight line with the aid of your ruler and pencil of a reasonable size. Then draw a short vertical line through this horizontal line and label the point of intersection as A. Great. The next step is to measure 6 centimeters from the ruler using our compass. So we place the compass gently on the ruler and open it up to 6 centimeters. Be careful not to exceed or fall short of this measurement. Place it at A and draw an arc through the horizontal line and label the point of intersection as B. And also the distance between them is 6 centimeters. Great. Next, we are required to construct an angle of 30 degrees at A. In order to be able to do this, however, we first need 60 degrees, then we bisect to get 30 degrees. So we take a reasonable size and draw a partial semicircle or a semicircle centered at A. So draw an arc more than half way. Then with the same measurement, stand at the point where it cuts the horizontal and draw another arc to intersect the old one. Good. As I indicated earlier, we need 30 degrees, but in order to do that, we have to construct 60. Now, having drawn the partial semicircle here or the arch here, and using that same measurement to draw this arc, a line from A to this point gives us 60 degrees, 60 degrees. So what we are going to do next is to stand at this point of intersection and draw an arc and also stand here to draw another arc. And those two intersect at a point that bisects the angle 60 from that A. So we stand at the intersection of these arcs and draw an arc of reasonable size or length. Then we repeat the process by standing at the other side and drawing another arc. We then draw a straight line from A through the second intersections of arcs that we have here. And that gives us an angle of 30 degrees, an angle of 30 degrees. So we draw the line. The next step is to measure 8 centimeters from our ruler once again using the compass. So placing the compass on the ruler, we measure 8 centimeters. 8 centimeters. Then we stand at the point A and draw an arc to the extension of the line for 30 degrees. 30 degrees. We name the point of intersection of the line and the arc C. 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 Then we connect a line from B to join C to complete the triangle. Next, we are required to produce the bisector of C to touch the line AB. So we draw an arc of a reasonable length and bisect the given angle. So drawing the arc through the lines BC and AB, we stand at the edges on both AB and AC and BC and draw reasonable arc lengths to serve as the intersections for the bisection. 
So you draw an arc of a reasonable size. Then we repeat the process at the other end. We have to make sure the two lines intersect. The two lines intersect. So we gently draw it. And once we are done, we are to draw a straight line from the point C through the point of intersection right here to touch the line A, B, to touch the line A, B. So we carefully draw a straight line through the point of intersection to touch the line A, B, to touch the line A, B. Now we label the point where the line from C, that is the bisector of the angle at C, touches A, B as D, as D. Now with our ruler, we measure the length of A, D, and B, D. So, we measure A, D, and we get A, D to be 4 centimeters. Then we proceed to measure the second part, which is B, D, or D, B. And we get B, D is equal to 2 centimeters. Great. This ends the construction work for today, and I hope you were able to do it. If you had any difficulties, don't hesitate to draw the attention of your teacher. Keep practicing. We end the lesson here today. See you later. Bye.